you got hammered like in the good way. There's you had moment, the God experience. I'm God yeah, hammered you. I'm in tears. I and right there, I'm like, I'm I'm a broken person. I just think of like ESPN. Uh, years ago, I used to watch like monster, da, da, da. yeah, monster trucks, but they had tractor pulls on top of that, and tractor pulls were where the tractor would back up and just hook itself to a sled, and it was like twenty feet long of steel, and it had this blade in front. They would hook it to the tractor. That tractor had to go three hundred feet, and it's like towards the finish line. And the harder that tractor went, the more that sled would pull and dig down into the ground with the that the pan. It was like a snow mobile or it's not a snowmobile, a, a snow plow, like a big giant tractor snow plow, just digging in the ground and throwing crap everywhere. It was like, that was me. Cause when you get to the end and everything just seizes up and you can't go anywhere, like the tractor just stops and it's the wheels are spinning and the engine's just shooting fire out of the top. Of the this harder thing. you try to do yeah. the thing that it's you, like, this yeah. it's like, that's me. I was I was sitting there in church going, I'm, my wheels have been spinning, trying to search for something. You were done. I got nothing. You were- I, I'm empty. I'm going nowhere. I'm in a black hole. And at that moment, I'm next thing I know, I'm in, just in tears. Like, Jesus, take the I'm wheel in and bridge this gap to something better because I've got nothing and I've been working my was butt that, off. Was that uh, one of the things I love about your story, Jeff, is because I... I think I have more friends who are like Zach who grew up in the church than friends who have your experience who came to know Jesus later in life. They and said there's not many. Like it's a rare thing to accept Jesus in the thirties or forties. Well, you were raised in Cuba as a small child, which is makes sense why you weren't a Christian before, because if you were an American, then you would have definitely been again, he was only Catholic. Born again is basically born American. Anyway, his opinion does not wrap up the opinion of Robert Robert. If you look at statistics, that's what everyone thinks. Everyone in America thinks they're Christians. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, the the point that's interesting to me is is your. I feel like your experience is very pure, and that you were old enough to kind of have some sort of perspective of there was there was a time in your life where this didn't exist where you're where you didn't have an encounter with god you didn't know what the holy spirit was you didn't have a relationship with jesus and then at all and then it changes for you it sounds like it changes in a moment yeah and can you describe i mean would you say that you felt like the holy spirit was engaging you in that moment now that you look back absolutely i mean there's if you if you think of the the tractor reference it's like when they take that sled off that with all that burden and weight like the tractor can just explode out of there and take off and essentially that's what happened in that moment it was like i literally like like i can't do this anymore I can't do any of this. I can't do life. I can't do relationships. I, I've got nothing. I'm like, there's something that's just happened. I I can't put a finger on it, but it's got me all emotional and in tears. And I've just have hid behind a wall forever and ever that I did that feel foreign when you had that experience. Did it feel weird? Did it feel good? What it felt? I mean, you're with strangers at this point, right? Yeah, but nope. But I, I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm, I was by myself. I was around 150 people and I was by myself. Yeah. And, but by myself with, with God and, and not knowing what is happening. Like, what is going on here? I, I don't know. I can't explain that. And people ask like, was it scary at all? No. It was confusing. It was, it was emotional and exciting Hmm. and uh, take this Hmm. and, and without anybody ever saying coming to the, it's like, when I look back, nobody ever came to the stage and I had never heard it before. Like, Hey, does anybody want to give their life for something happened in that moment where I have no idea? I, it was miraculous. And I'm like, I, I can't like it just going back right now. I'm like, I'm, like, how did that happen? And because if I keep going down the path, divorce, 
my kids just go sideways and everything continues on and I, and I'm just a brutal wreck I probably lose my my the good job that I that I still have yeah. but it just that I just can't it's unexplainable like the holy spirit moment I'm like I I when people are like the chosen people I'm like I don't know if I'm chosen or not but I love that you know God just kept knocking yeah. Like, and I was able to finally be like, I can't do this. Like for me and anybody who knows me, I'm not that type of person. Like, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this on my own. I'm going to get it done. Nobody's going to stop me. Mm-hmm. But in that moment, it was like, stop. You you don't have it. I have it. Do you want it? And I'm like, let's go. Dude, and what I love about that is you're, I feel like your experience is so pure when you describe that, there's no there's no person manipulating the situation for you. It's it like you describe it as is you and it's God. There may be 150 people around, but you're blind to that in the moment. You, you even said there's no one standing up on stage like, hey, if you're ready to say the prayer, hear the words. No one's walking you through this, and so it's this. I, I just love the fact that you have this very. It is. It's just a very pure experience. And I just, I, and what's weird is it was so, it was so long ago and I'm still to this day when I think about it, I'm like, I'm emotional and I, I'm, yeah. it just takes me back to that moment. And I'm like, I just literally thank God, like saving me, saving everything in my life. Like I'd probably just be destitute and with nothing because my my wife i mean that saved us and my wife she she's my other half and she makes me better and and without that i'm i'm just running sure i'm running into no man's land and you know so that i I, I can't it's (laughs) that's good i don't know what all right fine you win the conversion experience 